Hey guys, welcome back to the layout once again. Um, today I'm going to do kind of a year end review of the layout um, with the intention of looking back uh, at the layout kind of over the past year. So I've included the link to last year's um, kind of year end recap. Um, I called it like a layout kind of preliminary layout tour, um, but I, I have the intention of um, doing one of these videos every year. So I just got off on winter break and I'm about to resume work. I've already gotten a little bit done, but I intend to get a lot more done. But anyway, uh, since the my winter break kind of um, marks the new year for me in a sense, because it's, it's my, uh, my it ties over into next year basically, I'm going to continue working. I figured I just want to do a recap over what has happened on the layout over the past year, all the while kind of doing a tour, talking about um, what has been updated. And as I go along, I'd really appreciate it uh, as I walk around the layout if you guys have any any ideas um, for us, what we could do in certain scenes or what you think would be cool, go ahead and put that in the comments below because um, I really appreciate uh, your guys' feedback. So anyway, let's go ahead and start on the lower level. I'm going to head over to the yard area, which is behind me and around the corner, and uh, we'll get... Um, we'll get going with this video. Alright, uh, so first off, I lied. We're not going to start in the yard, but we are going to start in here in the staging room. I apologize for the mess. It looks awful in here. Um, but as you guys know, we have a lower staging room down below. I'm going to explain all this for anyone who's kind of new and checking out the layout. Um, eventually, we're going to have our lower staging yard down here where all the cork and stuff is. Just need to clear it off and lay the track, but... As you know, track is expensive, so that's kind of an investment. Um, so that's what I'll be doing next. Um, right here, this lower uh, incline track, that's our lower level reverse loop. And the one up above here connects our lower level from the upper level, um, which we'll get a better look at in a second. Eventually, we're going to have an upper staging yard, just like you see down below. Um, and that'll be the other end point of the layout, because we run point to point. This isn't a run through staging yard down here. But anyway, if you're in the staging yard, you come out, you'll exit through the wall right here by the doorway, we'll come out right here um, into the main yard. Uh, so the yard down here is modeling Twin Cities, Minnesota, probably more specifically St. Paul. Obviously don't have the tracks in yet. Again, that's a big investment, so that's what I'm working on uh, next. I want to get all the, you know, the extra tracks in. Um, and we're going to have possibly an overpass cut across the yard at an angle here. And we're going to have six yard tracks, six or seven yard tracks, plus the main line and siding out front here. And then coming down to this end, uh, the yard's going to taper off. Down in this corner, I don't know what we're going to do. I've just been playing around. I put some buildings back there just for fun. Uh, so this is a place, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and let us know. Uh, might be cool to have some industries there, maybe not even rail served, but just a little spur heading out, or yeah, heading out into the distance. Um, anyway, those tracks sweep this way. We're heading east out of the Twin Cities. Um, over here, we, uh, and this, <laughs> I meant to get this done before this video, um, I wanted to put in the sub road bed back here, so all that empty space you see there, that'll eventually be the engine facility, so this whole section here, um, basically past the lift out, and over there, that'll be the engine facility, um, but I did not get a chance to get that desk out, but anyways, that's what we'll be working on very soon, probably get that done over break, because I believe we're getting the engine house from Walther's, so that'll be a good build. Um, and as we move along here, eventually off of this turnout we'll have our yard lead, but we're continuing east here. We have a short stretch along the wall, and then we come over here across, well before we get across the um, entrance to the room, we're going to have a Dairy Queen down here. And I apologize for the lighting too, it's kind of dark. Um, Again, there's always something to work on, so uh, LED lighting is what I'll be getting to at some point, um, definitely before we get uh, done with the rest of the layout. I want to get the lighting in pretty early. Uh, but anyway, so that'll be a nice modern building to have there. It's a little lower than track level right now, which is kind of a cool aspect. Um, so we'll have that there with the parking lot and all that. Um, and then continuing this way, come across the drop bridge, and then there's going to be a siding here eventually, and I don't know what to do down in this corner. Um, right now I just put in some older buildings, and the reason I did that, uh, those were I don't know if I'm going to use those specifically, but it might be cool to have some older town buildings because we're modeling kind of the area in and around uh, and east of St. Paul. So places like Maiden Rock and Prescott, Wisconsin, uh, kind of 
older towns with what I imagine these types of buildings. Um, so I don't know, maybe an industry goes there, but I think it's pretty cool. Possibly if we did have a town here, it's pretty cramped space, I understand that, but I somehow want to hide that corner. And we have this track here is, again, our reverse loop, but it's also modeling uh, the Canadian Pacific River subdivision. So we have that truck coming across, just something I was playing around with. Maybe we have a road there, I don't know. But anyway, those tracks uh, swing back this way. Now we're heading, well, we're still heading east, obviously, but we've turned around in the room. And this area right out front here on the lower level, um, this is going to be Newport Junction. And this is where all of our industries will go. So this is a really long, nice, I think about 12 or 13 foot run of just straight open space for industries. So down here in the at the end of the peninsula we're gonna have our brewery. So we have the beverage distributors. This is gonna be kind of our warehouse section of the brewery. And then we also have the paper mill and that's gonna be you know production and processing. Um, and that's just random co cardboard uh, mock-up that I made. And then next to that we're gonna have another distribution center. This one will be um, rail rail served and against the backdrops. So you can see there's the outline of it there. Um, still need to build that. And I hope to get all these kits done over my break. That'd be really nice to have. You can see I've started this one. This is a uh, loading racks here. Um, so we'll have four of those and that'll be kind of a cool industry. And then another industry needs to go down here. I don't know what it'll be. This is our old cement plant. I don't think it's going to be that building, but who knows? Maybe we um, kind of touch it up, make it a little nicer, but I'd also like to see maybe a, a grain elevator or something, that'd be cool. Um, and another thing we did down here, uh, as compared to last year, I think we didn't have any fascia here, we didn't have that, our drywall sub road bed um, for the industrial tracks or the backdrop up, so that, it looks quite different this year as compared to last year. Um, so obviously don't have any of the industry tracks in. Right now the only tracks that are in are really the main line and some of the sidings. Um, so my top priority right now is getting the other tracks in. I'm also working on filling in some uh, gaps in the bench work. Um, as you see down here, coming around the curve, we're going to turn around, go on the other side of the backdrop, uh, which I have not, I haven't done the backdrop over here, but I intend to. So anyway, um, the plan down here is to have an elevated parking lot for our um, our brewery here and then we're gonna have that parking lot kinda come over the track so there'll be like a tunnel portal sorta of deal which is very St. Paul-ish you know like where the BNSF Midway and St. Paul subdivisions come together I think that's uh, Union Junction um, there's some cool overpasses and stuff uh, so that's kinda what we're, we're going for that vibe here but then when we come to the other side here this is gonna kinda enter into just a long expanse of uh, mostly scenery. So you can see this is kind of a cool big S curve. Um, I apologize, I set that bridge up there. I think that might be where that bridge will go. I'll talk about that in a second. But anyways, you come along, excuse me, around the curve here. Uh, if I get on the other side, we're gonna have, um, there's gonna be a grade crossing right here that comes across the tracks. The tr road possibly will dip down and then take a sharp left curve into the backdrop there at the end. We're going to have kind of a berm hill thing with uh, lots of trees. So we're going to do kind of a dense forest feel in here. Um, and then obviously we have the road grade crossing, more trees and stuff, probably an access road. And then right out front here, as you see right here, um, I think it'd be nice to have, we need to model... Um, a river somewhere so I think we're gonna have that here with our bridge um, and then to the left of that we either continue the scenery or I even considered having a passenger platform that would be served by uh, both Amtrak so it'd be an Amtrak station I think and then maybe some service with uh, North Star commuter rail which I know doesn't run uh, east into Wisconsin because once you cross this river uh, this area down here is going to be basically Prescott, Wisconsin, but I think it'd be cool just as a hypothetical um, to have North Star um, extend their service uh, southeast of the Twin Cities. So that might be interesting to have a, uh, an Amtrak station or something down here. And then down in this corner, there's tons of opportunity. You can see we have a lot of real estate here. Um, the backdrop eventually will curve this way and hug that sub road bed there, separating the two scenes. But out front here, don't really know what we're going to do. Could do definitely do a lot of trees. Um, those would be annoying to make and put in. But maybe, maybe that's where we put 
those buildings over there, maybe those go up here. I don't know. So again, let us know if you guys have any input. And then continuing up the grade, you can see these tracks, they go up and then through the wall there. And as I pointed out earlier, those tracks, uh, that track, I should say, is the one that comes across um, the staging room and then comes out here, and once we're out here, we have now entered into Crawford, Nebraska. So you've just crossed multiple state lines, um, kind of a big geographic jump there. But uh, this upper level is a mountain grade subdivision. This is the, um, you know, our helper district, and that, that was one of the big uh, points that I wanted for this layout. I love that sort of operation. So out here, uh, we have our turnout here to head into um, main track two. We're going to have our helper pocket out here. Um, and if you look at photos of Crawford, Nebraska, I think what we're also going to do is have a um, next to the helper pocket also some uh, interchange tracks. Um, so those will kind of be blended together. And then on the back side, I think I might do kind of a compressed um, grain elevator where we might just have, um, you know, the hood where the cars roll under and then do a uh, photo backdrop of like a grain elevator so that we have one spur coming down off our furthest main. So we'll have like a spur or something come off here and then maybe a grain elevator out front because that's what we have in Crawford, the prototype Crawford. Um, and then if we continue east here, um, we come down to Annan Street. This is eventually going to be a grade crossing. I have started to work on some scenery here as you can see. Um, even down here. I still need to continue the fascia up here so that's another thing that I need to do. If we take one more good look here at Crawford, um, a very nice long stretch. So it looks really cool when you have coal trains running through here. Um, that's one of my favorite scenes, just straight running. And of course, then we head into the lower horseshoe curve region of Crawford Hill. We're heading up grade. Basically at this point, the grade starts. And um, yeah, so this is your lower horseshoe curve. Grinding up grade pretty hard here. Um, and then we head into... This is where it comes back down to one track here, so we're heading up grade. You can probably see the grade already. And then right down here, I think, once we come around this corner that you see right here, I'd like to do um, a short little tunnel portal. Of course, there are no tunnels currently on Crawford Hill. Um, the last one was that, which was operated uh, by Burlington Northern. Of course, when they did the rerouting of Crawford Hill, they abandoned that tunnel. Um, but I want to kind of pay homage to the uh, the olden days because um, I think that's cool. But anyway, we head into double track again. It looks like double track, um, which I, what I'm trying to simulate here. In reality, this is your main line that continues upgrade. This track here that we have the coal train sitting on, that is our reverse loop, our upper level reverse loop. So now we head into the upper horseshoe curve. Um, you can see the trains turn around here and then we're heading upgrade here along this tangent, and this is the area that I think if you look up photos of Crawford Hill, people who actually go to the Ponderosa Ranch, this is um, where most of the photography is taken. So that's, uh, you, you could probably see videos that I took, and they're kind of from this area here. Um, so anyway, this is one of the big highlights of the layout here. Um, if we go around the end of the peninsula, you can see the upper track curves around the back, and then we'll go over there in a second, but this track here then comes back uh, through the backdrop, and that is our reverse loop, as I pointed out. So that's our second main track, as it's supposed to be. Um, and right here, we're gonna have a, a tunnel as well. So I don't know if we're gonna have the other one that I talked about behind me, but here, for sure, we're having a tunnel, and this one I'm gonna model, try to do exactly like um, the old abandoned tunnel, and act like it's still in service. So anyway, we're coming around the curve here on the upper level, and when we turn around the backdrop, you can see we've got a curved turnout here. To the right is the reverse track. And what I have not done is continued the main line beyond this point. So eventually our tracks will go upgrade just a little bit more. You can see the sub roadbed just kind of slopes up. And then Summit is right there where our truck is sitting. So up here the main line will continue. And then it crests about here. So what I need to do now is continue the sub roadbed and have it go through the wall um, just like it does below. So you see. This track here, it's the upper level is going to have the same thing, and that track then, if we open up our door here, that track will go through the backdrop, aka the wall, and then come out and we'll have upper level staging tracks um, up above. So 
Anyway, um, that's a recap of the layout. Um, that's currently how we're looking at it and what state we are in right now. So I'm going to continue working on it over winter break. Um, again, any ideas you have, please let us know. I'm just going to walk around to the other side to do a quick, you know, overall look. And then that'll be it. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have plenty more content soon. I'm back for break, and this is basically all I'm doing because uh, I love this hobby. So, um, yeah, I'll have a video in a few days. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more content.